All right, I'm going to be talking about linear probabilistic modeling. A linear probabilistic model, also known as an LPM, is a method of finding the probability of some binary dependent variable based on one or more explanatory or independent variables. It is also possible to obtain the probability of a dichotomized dependent variable, meaning that the variable is either uh, high or low value. This is extremely useful, allowing one to predict values of your dependent variable based on different independent variable values. It can also help explain the relationship between a dependent variable and one to many independent variables, as well as the significance of each of these independent or explanatory variables. Here's the general equation for our linear probabilistic model. All right. So we have our dependent variable. We have our weighted coefficients and then we're going to have our x's independent uh, explanatory variables. So our dependent variable it's only going to have values of 0 or 1 basically a failure or success and what we want is the probability of the failure or success. So that'll be our expected value. So our expected value of y based on these independent variables is going to equal our probability of y equaling 1 based on these explanatory variables. So in a simple uh, example, we're going to have... So in this example, we just have one explanatory variable. And so what these coefficients mean, they're kind of weights, so based on their weights, that's how much of a significance these independent variables will have. This coefficient right here is the amount of probability uh, that the dependent variable will increase by if this independent variable right here is increased by one increment, and that depends on the dimensions it has. If it's dollars, it's one more dollar, miles per hour, one more miles per hour, etc. If this value is zero, then the probability will be this coefficient right here. The LPM is only valid if you assume that your independent variables are linearly related to your dependent variable. This could be useful in engineering if you're, for, uh, for example, wondering whether the outdoor humidity in conjunction with varying flow rates will increase or decrease the reliability in a steam turbine. Your independent variables are going to be outdoor humidity and flow rate and your dependent variable is the reliability, whether it's increasing or decreasing. You can set it as binary with one equal increase, with one being increasing and zero being no change, or you could do it dichotomized with increase or decrease being your higher low values.